This is D.B. Woodside, and Malcolm is not shady. Hey, I'm Travis Winfrey. Yo, what's happening? This is Terrell Tilford. I'm repping Madame Noir, and once again, single ladies, we holding it down, Team Sean all the way. Boom. Um, you know, it's interesting because uh, I just don't see Malcolm as shady. I've never seen Malcolm as shady. I just think that he's a complex individual. And people that call him shady really don't know the true definition of the word shady. <laughs> uh, we always try to keep it loose and fast and uh, have a lot of fun, um, the way that Lisa Ray and I work together. Uh, so, um, you know, after the, once we came into the third season, we've known each other now for a few years. So it makes everything much easier. Uh, it just makes everything better, you know, when you've known someone for a while and the way that they work. My favorite sex scene to shoot uh, would probably have been the very first sex scene that we've ever shot. Well, there's footage that you guys haven't seen. Uh, I'm sure that would be coming out in the DVD or something. But, uh, yeah, that's definitely my favorite sex scene. Um, well, I think relationships are tough. Uh, I, think that they, I think that they love each other. Uh, uh, at, we'll see. We'll, you know, I'm, I'm always open to see what the writers do. Um, but uh, as of right now, I think Keisha and Malcolm are, at the beginning of season three, I think as of, as of right now, Keisha and Malcolm are uh, definitely deeply in love. Uh, as far as my changes with Sean in season three, more of the same. More uh, high-powered, bringing down Malcolm, uh, taking things over as Sean is, you know, apt to do. Uh, the great thing about playing Sean on Single Ladies is actually the duality of, of uh, tossing back and forth uh, between uh, D.B. and I's character, between Malcolm and Sean. You've got two high-powered brothers, two very confident, successful, intelligent, articulate brothers that really want some of the same things in life. Uh, unfortunately, they also want the same woman in life at the same time. So. And uh, though that's probably never happened in my life, yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> the cool thing about Lisa Ray and I, one, we've known each other for over 15 years. We've worked opposite each other on all of us. Uh, played a boyfriend on that before. So I had, a, I feel like I had an upper hand coming in against DB in the first place, you know, because you know my chest was a little bit bigger, my heart, my heart was a little bit stronger, and my game was just already on point and all that. So when I got there secretly, like Lisa Ray was like, I am so glad that you're here because now. Now, finally, a brother can like shut me down, unlike these other cats over there. So I was like, yo, let's do this. Do me a favor, because DB is, he's really sensitive. So let's keep this on the down low, all right? Just between you and I. But I'm going to let him have something every once in a while. Omar is, uh, you know, his life's always open and receptive to new penis. Can I say penis? I, I think it's oh, just relationships um, in single ladies. So, yeah. There's Does Omar have a <clears throat> boo thing this season? Yes, he's got a couple of them. They're all different flavors and sizes and stuff. But, you know, I don't think Omar actually pays attention to his love life as much as everybody else does. I, he just, one place to put it. Wow. My dating life outside of the show is interesting because um, uh, I got more before I was on TV. Let's just say that. I have to, anybody who's trying to get it after the show came out, you missed your chance. You didn't get my rookie card when I was, you know, I was batting in the minor leagues and now I'm on TV, you want some, and uh, nah. Now I'm waiting for a princess or some shit. <laughs> Omar's character and his challenges kind of reflect the real world situations that are going on right now the gay marriage the inequality which is still prevalent in our society and I think that he tackles that in a very lighthearted way the writers did a good job of integrating that into the comedic lines that he has because he's there for comedic relief so I mean I think we found a pretty good balance of tackling real life issues with keeping him the ding 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 on the show so yeah he's, there's going to be a lot of that